fourth race, 2001 championship final of the Celia's Council Series. They are off and trotting, and Ban's Image had a fine start at the extreme outside. That's Ban's Image charging on out with Catch Me an Angel. Blue Thread is moving over into the top trio. Also leaving is Anabolic to be near the front into the top duo. If she can be, they still charge. Three and four wide into the first turn. Texas Flicka follows just off in fifth. Queen Victoria in his sixth. Anabolic has made a break. Molly Jones was seventh away. Moving eighth around the first turn was Flirtatious. Then it's back to Lifetime Wish. And after an early break, Shimmy Pine is at a standstill break and out of contention. Anabolic off stride and taken out of harm's way. It's Band's Image charging up to the lead around Blue Thread. The quarter was 28-3. and three. Band's Image withstanding a park out of almost three-eighths of the mile to be up top. Texas Flicka, her stablemate is pulling on her out from fourth. She's third and second and going on. Blue Thread is back in the pocket. Catch Me an Angel moves out from second over. Queen Victorian is up into the race from fifth. There is is flirtatious sixth along the inside molly jones a tighter seventh lifetime wishes eighth anabolic is back down trotting but out of contention and show is shimmy pine they made that half in a minute and three 32 second rating in the second quarter enough for texas flicka to take over into the final three eighths of the mile that's texas flicka catch me an angel now caught uncovered bands images back in the box and queen victorian right there second over from fourth readying to pounce blue thread along the inside from fifth Molly Jones, a closer six. Flirtatious is seventh. Eighth on the outside for Lifetime Wish. And out of contention, the gapping trailers are Anabolic and Shimmy Pine. They turn for home with these front eight tightly grouped. And from first over, here comes Catch Me an Angel. Molly Jones and Mayotte cut loose down the center. Off three quarters in 131 and four. Here comes Molly Jones and Mayotte from third over, sweeping up through the stretch, overtaking Ben Zimmage, who came back through. Molly Jones wins the Celia's Council three parts of a length over Ben's image and catch me an angel Molly Jones is the winner in two minutes and four and she came from way back to get the job done for this man Roger Mayot Roger your barn's been hot as of late uh, this one's full sister finished second in the classic Oaks division here the other night you had a winner in the classic uh, pace with Cami Best and uh, kind of a bittersweet win here as Molly Jones get the job done her mother passed away the other uh, a couple of weeks ago, I guess it was, giving birth, so uh, a bittersweet win for you and your connections. Yeah, that's for sure. She had a, a, a colt, full, a full brother to Molly Jones, and I'm training a two-year-old full sister right now, too. Now, Flamberdowns is hosting the first Ontario Sire Stakes event of the season. Down the road, do you see this one being a Gold Series filly, even though you're not going to take her to Flamborough? Yeah, we hope to test some of the golds out, but on the half-mile track, I'm going to stay away from that uh, first gold and aim for the uh, Colonial and the Elegant Image. Unlike her sister, she didn't race it to. What kept her back at uh, that age? Her size, basically. She took growing spurts, and she was pretty big, and then she ended up colicking on us, and, and we had to take her to Guelph, but everything was fine. Trip worked out well. Uh, you've raced her from off the pace right from day one, and she uh, kicked in this evening again with that patented late brush. She's got one big weapon, and uh, she utilized it to perfection tonight. Yeah, I plan to just race her from, from the half home and let her get stronger on her own, and then uh, she can leave if you want her to, but uh, I'm a little concerned about getting hot right off the bat. Ronnie Waple snuck up the inside. Were you uh, worried about catching him? It looked like he had a bit of a lead on you, but you kind of had the jump on them swinging with momentum off the turn. Yeah, I had some momentum, and when I pulled the plugs, my mare really gives a, a surge, and I think that's what it was that drove away from Ronnie. Okay, being that you're going to skip the Flambro dash, uh, what's in store for Molly over the next three weeks or so? Uh, probably a week out in the field and a little R&R &R and then we'll aim her for the, uh, there's a trillium at the Woodbine, I believe, before the Colonial. All right, congratulations on the win tonight. Looks like you got a pretty good filly. She's uh, starting to get me excited, yes. All right. And when Roger Mayock gets excited, you know it's uh, an exciting filly. Molly Jones, the Celia's Council champ of the year 2001. Let's go to Frank Salib. He's got a look ahead to the uh, rundown from this fourth race. Race five coming up next. Thank you.